Hey, Mario 64 has been around for a pretty long time, and the speedruns for the game have gotten very, very optimized. But there's a lot of room for improvement. Enough room for someone like me with zero experience to slip right in, right? No, no, not a, not a chance, no. So the real question is, how good can I get at Mario 64 in just one week's worth of runs? It's me, Mario. By the way, I'm speedrunning Mario 16 star, which means I just collect 16 stars as fast as possible and then beat Bowser. The catch? I've never done this before. So I had to learn the ropes first. On day one, I simply learned the basics. Lakitu skip. Bomb clip. The worst way to do Bowser in the dark world. This was a struggle. All the tricks took me about 10 minutes each to get even one time. But after getting it once, it became easier to repeat the tricks later. And I was actually a natural at some things, like Mips Clip and throwing Bowser. You know what? Wait a sec. I made a dedicated video about this day on uh, my channel already. You can uh, you can learn the whole story there. Intent, nudge, nudge. Anyways, I did a completely illegal run full of save states and cheating. And I finished my first ever run in 52 minutes and 38 seconds. Not bad for a first run. Starting day two, I decided I wouldn't use save states anymore, and I would only do legit runs from then on. Right off the bat, I was already making improvements. There we go. We don't reset on bomb clip. Not yet, not yet anyways. Eventually I will. Oh, split. I was cutting time at all of my first couple splits, and it was looking like a really great run. I practiced that one. And and then and then this. Alright, I'm I'm scared of this part. This is the only part I'm worried about. Alright, this part's iffy. This part's iffy. I either get it or I don't. Keep those deaths in mind, actually, because this one Bowser stage never stops haunting me. And after that run, I got a little reset happy, where I would reset the speed run if anything went wrong. Oh my god, I got bomb clip in a run. I was through the cage, and then I got freaking pushed out of said cage. And now the chain chomp's gonna eat me. Great. And then I died in the first Bowser stage again. I am unteachable. Yes, yes, and then I hit the fire. Yes, yes, beautiful. Oh, I hit it twice, and that's a game over. Let's go. Yeah. At this point, I actually came down with a disease that my chat so lovingly deemed a Mario meltdown. Mario meltdown? Ice Age the meltdown. It's so easy to melt down when I'm speedrunning my, my, my freaking least favorite game in the entire world. But somewhere in between reuniting a baby penguin with its mother. And looking up Mario on Wikipedia for tips on speedrunning. All right, so uh, this is Mario, right? He looks like this guy. <clears throat> He's a fictional character created by Japanese video game designer Shigeru Miyamoto. I finally got a new personal best, or PB, of 32 minutes and 56 seconds. And I wasn't exactly thrilled about it. Good throw, yeah, good aim, good aim, good aim. Yeah, yeah, maybe you should get some glasses, you freaking idiot. Oh, 
Oh, same spot? Yeah, the, guess what? The spike ball isn't there, okay? It's literally to the left. What are you trying to do? Get wrecked. Oh, nice throw, dude. Bro, you're actually weak. Hold up. You couldn't make that throw? He be. Guys, PB. Guys, guys, let's guys, P, guys, guys, nice PB. Hey, nice PB. Whoa. I think it's as best as I do. I don't think there's any improvement to be made. I have hit my limit. Mm. This day was my first day completely dedicated to speedrunning. I was in the zone. We're playing Mario 64 again. All right, all right the redo we're trying again all right we're trying again this time it's gonna go a lot better like to skip barely saves anything but it still saves that's right we always save in fact in my first run of the day i got a gold split in bombs and bowser one there's your 150 and i golded that was a gold. Nice. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I just need to not mess anything up for the whole rest of the game. And if you don't know, a gold split is a really good thing. To do this, I finally started using movement in Bowser 1 that was a bit closer to proper. Come on. The run was actually going great until Bowser 2, which I didn't actually think was a problem at all until I got a game over because I took too many dips in the lava. Am I dead? Yep, yeah, I'm dead. I love that. I love not having the, the, the long jump. That was cool. That was nice. That was great. But that didn't stop me because the very next run, I got gold splits in Womp's Fortress, Cool Cool Mountain, Bowser 1, and Hazy Maze Cave. All right, there. Jeez, that was stupid. I hate that. And I didn't split. There, I golded. Nice. That was actually really smooth. If only the penguin movement was better, that could have been a... I golded on that? Alright, whatever. Oh, no, that's stupid. Why'd I gold there? That might actually be a Bowser's gold. Despite failing that little staircase. Because that's the first time I made it through without dying. Yeah. That was a gold. No. I think that was actually... That might be a gold. That might be a gold. Then I fell off the cliff three times and in Bowser 3 and I, I game over it again. I, I, I game over it again. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Did you see the way I got pushed off right there? Holy crap. Has that ever happened to anyone in like the, in like ever? See if I can get a sub 35. It's like, what's all the, what's the point of practicing? What's the point of all the practice? It, it doesn't pay off. It doesn't make me better. Uh, I make mistakes I've never made before in practice. Not once. Not once did I fall off there in my years of training, not a single time. But literally none of that mattered because the very next run, again, I got gold splits in Womps, Bowser 1, and Bowser 2. That might be a gold. Yep.
That hit? Yeah, that better be a gold. Oh my god. That was such a good Bowser. Uh, yeah, of course, I, I always go for my stupid plans. I'm telling you, if I listen to everything chat says in chess, I'll never improve, right? Is that a gold? Is that a gold? Is that a gold? Yeah, minus three. Then I fell off the cliff three three times because I was trying to do ad advanced tricks and uh, yeah, I game. I game over it again. I, I game over it again. I, I game over it again in the same exact spot. Three, I died three times. What was that? See, this is what usually what happens. I die in just like the most mysterious ways, unexplained by science or man. This is where it falls apart. This is where all the work just, it's as soon as I game over here, it's over. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is, this is either gonna work out very well or you're all gonna get extremely mad at me. Oh my God. Are you starting to see the same pattern here that I'm seeing? Am I blind? You ask me this every day, and yes. Yes, I am blind. My glasses come in at, uh, at least next week. Insan said that I'm blind. And then I said, yes, I'm blind. My glasses are coming in next week. Or did I just say something completely different? You keep asking me that? Yes. Oh. You guys were both upset that it wasn't a question? But yes, it was. He said, are you blind? Or he said, you are blind. Guys, you guys are messing me up. I lost my PB because of you. All right, if that literally didn't prove that I'm blind, yes, I am. I couldn't even read that. What do you think? I couldn't read the sentence, you are blind. I couldn't read it. I couldn't read it. Lame excuse. I didn't, there was no excuse. My excuse, you said you are blind and I said, yes, I am blind. That is my, ex okay, all right, what, whatever, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Look, I still golded, I still golded. Uh, I gold every run because I'm actually good at the game. I just can't string together a bunch of good runs. Yeah, I'll reset. Yeah, I'll, re I'll reset. Yeah, nice aim. Nice aim. Nice aim. Good aim. Nice aim. Nice aim. Good aim. Nice. Good aim. Nice. Good aim. Nice. Good aim. Yep. Good. Nice. Oh. 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 Ooh, ah, ooh, I'll skip to the good part. About an hour of resetting later, I finally finished a run and I got a time under 30 minutes. Oh, finally. Finally. I finally PB'd. Let's go! Let's go! Thank you for 200 bits. Let's go! A 26 39. <laughs> oh my god. That was my first finished run of the day, too. I'm sure I could have probably PB'd earlier, but let's. Go. The sum of best is now a 24. And I was satisfied with the progress, and I called it a day after that. Day four was a wild ride, full of arcs, growth, and character development. The runs started out bad, with a lot of resets. Not even going for Owlis. Not even going for uh, canless, not even going for climbing up Womp's Tower. <clears throat> and this run, we get all of the stars from Cool Cool Mountain. So I had to take it all out. And. And my. What do I even do? I've never fallen in here. Let's just find a star. My brain is dead, and the run is dead. And my, my muscles hurt. I've never been inside this pyramid before. I have no idea what to do in here. Just fall back into the sand. Probably that's probably the best way to go. Yes, 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 yes. 
we'll just I think we'll just reset on that one. Eventually, I did finish a run, but I didn't improve my time at all, and my motivation was dwindling. I don't reset too often. My two resets were literally like they made sense if you think about it. Bro, I'm getting trolled by the stairs. Ugh, so much time loss. I'll split early. That way it doesn't look as bad. Just wombo combo toad real quick. Nice. Backflip. The most time loss I could ever get. Five minutes. I like how I can just get that jump with no training. That's actually the easiest trick is just flying through the wall right there. There we go. Maybe I have hit my max. Maybe 26, 39 is the best I can do. But you know what they say. Just keep swimming or keep moving forward or just do it. Basically, chat called for one more run, so I complied. Rinse and repeat. All right, here we go. One more again, one more again. It wasn't an amazing run and it definitely had room for improvement, but I managed to get another PB. I'm gonna PB today. I wanna PB every single time I play this game. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> time save. Good time save. Oh, he's cringe. Oh, he wanted to move so fast, but oh, it was so slow. How much more cringe can he get? We're still ahead. We're still ahead. All right, that was literally the hardest part of the run in my eyes. Remember when I didn't use to turn the camera? That was so long ago. I've grown so much since then. My Bowser 2 is impeccable. That has to be a gold. What did I say? That's a PB. That's a PB. That is a PB. That is a P stinking B. That is a PB by over a minute. 25 12. Oh, let's freaking go. I got the time down to a 25 12, and I was filled with confidence. You guys should be scared. You should be scared because, listen to this, I'm literally having an off day today. Today was a, I will say it, bad day. And I still PB'd. And that's where day five comes in. The day started nice, but don't let that fool you. All right, don't mess this up, and we're on amazing pace, actually. That was a, that was a gold. I guess that was pretty nice. I had just gotten a gold in Womp's Fortress when out of nowhere, Bowser 1 struck me down. Oh, why didn't you just walk backwards? Why'd you have to do the... <sighs> but my spirit was too high at this point and I could not be knocked out so easily. The very next run, I got a beautiful gold split and bombs. There we go. Oh my God, this is the run. Wait, I'm about to gold right now. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Holy crap, a 138 and bomb. I carried the momentum and got a tasty gold in Womps. Nice. That is a 515. Ooh, another gold. All right, let's keep this. Let's keep this rolling. Let's keep this rolling. Let's keep this rolling. But I was feeling a little too good, and Bowser sent a baby penguin to assassinate me. <laughs> I actually kept the run going too, which I never do. But I kept this run going 
only for Bowser stage itself to take me out. I didn't let it get to me though, because right after that, I was at the end of a new run on PB Pace. That might be a gold. Yep. Okay. That was really good. That was a really good Bowser in the Dark Sky. Was that a gold? Yep. It felt like it. I could feel it in my bone structure. Nice. That was very smooth. Is that a gold? Another gold. If I nail all these Bowser throws in a row, I get a, I get a, I get a, a one second PB. But that requires me to what? Be good at the game? I can't do that. Nice. Yeah. No. Run into Bowser's back of his freaking shin. I, I'm sure he appreciated that. He probably tickled. No, good, good regrab, good regrab, good regrab. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Oh, nice. That was cool, too. I had to watch out for the fire. No, good throw. No, good throw all around. Good throw all around. Yeah, yeah no, that was great. That was great. I really like the fact that I missed. Why are you running? No! Right at the right at the very end too. Yeah, that one uh, really hit me where it hurt because no run for the rest of the day even came close to finishing. That was the furthest run. Uh, this one here was actually the furthest one. Oh, good angle! No, good angle! Good angle! Good answer! Good answer! Good answer! Good answer! Good answer! Good answer. And yes, Bowser 1 got me again. And to put the nail in the coffin, I became a river boy after that. Maybe this is the run. I'm feeling good again. I managed to go this whole day without getting a single personal best. That really killed the motivation. And throughout the whole day, I also somehow managed to go through all seven stages of grief. Oh, good angle. No, good angle. Good angle. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Wait, I actually don't. I think it's over. I don't know if there's anything I can do. I will never PB in Mario ever again. I'm in so much pain. The pain's unbelievable. Wahoo. Oh, why didn't you let me over there, Bowser? My fingers, my arms, my neck, my back, my, my, my knees. It hurts. He's never going to stream again. I'm going to stream every single day, all right? Until the day I cry on stream. Nice. Good button press. Oh, fall off the cliff. Nice. I am not getting closer. How dare you? Look at that. No golds. Nothing to save. Nothing. It's awful. You know, why even play Mario? Yeah. Yeah, no. Why? Yeah, no. Why even be in a bad mood? Why even be in a bad mood? There's no point in a bad mood. Maybe it's time to accept the fact that I'm a river boy. All right? And I just let I'll, I'll just let Mario drift out to the ocean, all right? And hopefully he gets eaten by a shark. I think I found the new meta. If you spam B instead of A, you swim faster. Goodbye, Mario. This is your life now, okay? You're going to live down here now. All right, Mario? Just close your eyes, all right, buddy? We've accepted this together. This is our fate. Nice and easy. Just close those eyes, buddy. There you go. There you go. Good night, Mario. Do the Marios! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest here. I, uh, miscounted the days. So there, there isn't actually a, a sixth day. I, uh, I actually did this whole challenge in, in less than a week. I did it all in in six days technically less than a one week so let's just skip to the final day i 
I went into this day with a plan. I wasn't about to leave this challenge without a personal best I was proud of, that I could take home to my mother and she would hang it on the fridge. So I did what any sane person would do. I planned on playing Mario 64 for as long as it took to get a PB under 25 minutes. And I was fully prepared to do all of the hardest tricks I knew and reset every run that wasn't perfect. I was ready to succeed. And on my very first attempt, I picked up my controller and I got a new personal best. Uh, honestly, I just wanna hop into it as fast as possible. Let's just, let's just get some runs going. Let's get in the groove, let's get warmed up. If I had to guess, I'm beating my PB first run. All right, never mind. This run is now officially practice. This is just a practice run. Now these things usually treat me pretty nicely. There we go. Those MIPS clips were actually kind of nice. Oh, nice. Probably should have been holding full left there. All right, yeah, all that progress I made is down the toilet. Is that a hit? There we go. That's a PB. First run. We PB'd by a minute. 24 24. We cut it off by 48 seconds. But that is not good enough for me. Yeah, a 24 minute and 24 second PB. But that wasn't the end for me. I reset on every failed Lakitu skip because I needed the run to be perfect. I'm gonna start resetting on Lakitu skip, bro. I'm so tired of missing it. And then I finally had it. Like the gift of life itself. In my hands, I was holding the messiah of speedruns, the golden run, a gold split in bombs. All right, we hit lag two, we hit lag two, and we hit the bomb clip right now. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I don't think that's a gold. I think my gold is a lot better than them. Never mind. A gold split in womps. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. A gold split in Cool Cool Mountain. I'm playing out of my mind. Okay, okay, okay. Surely there was no way I could mess up this perfect run. Yeah, no, no I, yeah, no, I threw it all away in Bowser 1. Twice. Two times. I, yeah, I fell off the clip two times. Oh, after all that, I can't believe I screwed up that part. That's all I had to do. That's all I had to do. Oh, I'm so cringe. Today was different though. I wasn't about to give up so easily and I kept it going. I kept going for two hours, never accepting defeat. And eventually, I had to activate phase two of the plan. The no mic, no face cam, just Mario plan. It's exactly as it sounds. I wanted to try speedrunning the game without the pressures of putting on a show at the same exact time. So I did just that. I knew this plan was going to be successful because just one hour in, I got a new PB of 2301. I had made multiple mistakes during this run, which only made it clear to me that getting an even better PB was possible and in my reach. So I kept grinding. I grinded for hours. No speaking, no tears being shown on the camera. And eventually it was bestowed upon me. Imagine a run so beautiful and then double that.
the Lakitu skip, the bomb clip, the cannonless, the baby penguin, no death in Bowser 1, this one star in the Hazy Maze Cave, the cleanest MIPS clip, and the setupless triple jump wall kick in Bowser 3, all leading up to three perfect Bowser throws. My perfect run. I finally achieved a 20 minute and 31 second personal best and Mario 64 16 star. Everyone, uh, just please ign ignore the fact that I somehow missed the big star at the end. I'm actually stupid. I didn't actually have my camera or mic on at the time, but here's an artist's rendition of how the reaction went. Oh, oh my, holy crap. Wow. Do you see that? Did you just see what I, did you see what I did just then? That's insane. Wow, look at Mario, look at Mario go. Bro, I went ham on the controller. Bro, you see this controller? I went ham. In the end, I learned a lot. Some people want to watch you succeed and others want to watch you fail horribly. Actually, that's, that's a boring lesson. Here's the real lesson. Never try to speed run, speed running a speed run. And you can quote me on that. This was actually a lot of fun to do. And I don't think that's the end of Mario 64 content from me. It's really only just begun. There was so much improvement being made during this challenge. And I still made mistakes in my PB, which means a sub 20 is possible someday. You know, the real question is, am I actually good at the game now? Or did I just muscle memory my way to a 20 minute run? Also, I can't actually submit this to speedrun.com because I was using a banned emulator.